In the case of Hart Lipton, he switched to an alternative school where he now gets intense personalized attention. His irritability and rapid cycling moods led his parents and psychiatrists to recognize that he has a form of bipolar illness called bipolar two disorder. It is characterized by intense irritability and severe depressive episodes. His treatment includes an antidepressant and a mood stabilizing medication that is commonly prescribed for bipolar illness. In the long run, the medicine has probably saved my life. Straight up. After spending 15 months in a treatment facility out of state, Emma returned home and is doing much better. Her treatment for depression includes weekly talk therapy and a single antidepressant. She tried seven different medications before finding one that worked. I am glad that I stuck with it, though, because the med now, I mean, it's certainly not a miracle pill, but it does take the edge off um, enough so the down days aren't quite as down and uh, my mood doesn't fluctuate as much and I don't feel as anxious. And it's easier to stay positive and work in therapy when just um, the, the edge is off a bit, but I certainly wouldn't call it a miracle pill. The use of medications in adolescents is not as well researched as in adults and should be cautiously prescribed and continuously monitored. There is also debate in some circles as to whether antidepressants increase the risk of suicide in some patients. This controversy prompted the Food and Drug Administration to take action. The FDA put a black box warning, first for children and adolescents, and now for all antidepressants, not just SSRIs, for all age groups. And I believe that this was a mistake, because in hastening our awareness, what we've shown is that there's been a marked drop in prescribing of antidepressants, particularly in children and adolescents. And this was highlighted in a Newsweek article recently. With the decrease in prescribing, a clear increase in suicide rates and suicide attempt rates. In aggregate, I think there's no question that the value of treating, the benefits of treating with medication, and particularly with medication and cognitive behavior therapy, far outweigh these small risks. And those risks can be mitigated if you carefully monitor kids who are on these medications. A digital alarm clock. Just Cognitive just behavior on. therapy is a practical short-term form of talk therapy that provides tools for correcting distorted patterns of thinking. For most people, medications are also helpful, but waiting for them to work can be agonizingly slow. We saw a reduction in uh, protein kinase. Here at the National Institute of Mental Health, scientists are working hard to identify faster acting treatments. I worry that we've set our sights too low for the treatment of depression. It's hard to find another syndrome in medicine that's characterized by anguish or pain for which you'd say, well, six weeks improvement, that's pretty good. Most of the time you want to know about what's going to help you in two to four to six hours. Recently, in a groundbreaking clinical trial, Dr. Carlos Zerati intravenously administered an experimental drug called ketamine to patients like Carl Gruber, who had suffered from major depression since he was 16 years old. It's like after a rainstorm when the sun breaks out and all the clouds go away. The results were dramatic. When I came out of the infusion within minutes, I felt my depression lift completely. And the most interesting thing was uh, not only did I no longer feel depressed, I felt as though I had never been depressed. We didn't have only one or a few symptoms get better in terms of energy, feel a little bit better. We had complete resolution of symptoms in many patients. And not only that, that the sense of self-esteem and that I am a human being is really restored very rapidly. So the whole essence of the individual is really returned rapidly in a short period of time. The last major depression I had. Most patients experienced a rapid response because ketamine targets glutamate, a chemical found throughout the brain that interacts with all the mood influencing chemicals involved in depression. You know, I felt a very marked lifting of the depression and not only more work needs to be done to determine if ketamine can be used in a safe and effective manner. At a minimum, the findings suggest that targeting the glutamate system may lead to more effective rapidly acting drugs.